blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the solemnity of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punsalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Purihit pasalamatan sa masayang awit Purihin natin at pasalamatan ang Diyos ng pag-ibig Sa iyo ang masalamat sa mayamang lupa't dagat At sa magandang kalikasan At sa aking tanang buhay Purihit pa sa lamatan Sa masayang awit Purihin natin at pa sa lamatan Ang Diyos ng pag-ibig In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the birthday of John the Baptist. The solemnity of the nativity or the birth of the precursor, of the reformer, of the herald of Christ. John the Baptist was born, according to our calendar, on June 24, which is six months before the birthday of Jesus. The birth of John the Baptist was welcomed by his old and who thought that they were not, they would not be able to bear a child because they were old and sterile, Zechariah and Elizabeth. But as the Word of God says, nothing is impossible with God. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the heart. you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord, lord god, god heavenly, heavenly king, king oh god almighty, almighty father, father lord, jesus lord jesus christ, christ only, begotten only begotten son, son of god. lord god lamb of god son of the father god. you take, take away, away the sins, the sins of, the of the world have mercy on us you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world receive, receive our prayer, our prayer. You are seated, you are at, the seated right at the right hand of the Father. Of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone, you alone are, are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth. To people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, 
the grace of spiritual joys. Direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. I will praise you for I am wonderfully made. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me. You know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. I praise. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise, I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king. Of him God testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, son of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown His great mercy toward her. They rejoiced with Elizabeth. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. They answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. And so they made signs, asking his father what he wished his child to be called. The father asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors. And all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart and said, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit. He was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. My dear people of God, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. June 24. We celebrate today the solemnity of the Nativity of John the Baptist. Exactly six months before we celebrate the feast of another nativity, the nativity of our Lord on December 25. I was thinking that because we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist six months before the birth of Christ, I asked myself, did Jesus call John the Baptist, Kuya John. Because John is six months older than the Lord. They were said to be cousins. But John is older. Did he call him Kuya or Manong? We cannot answer the question because it is not answered in the Bible. My dear brothers and sisters, Everybody wants to be remembered on his birthday. I remember when my birthday is approaching, every time it is approaching, I would be teasing, I would be joking with some of my friends and will tell them, anybody who forgets me in September, in December, I will also not remember. He who forgets me in September, in December, I will not remember. Everybody wants to be remembered on his birthday. We know we are getting old when the only thing we want for our birthday is not to be reminded about it. And you know you are getting old when the candles cost more than the cake. How does it feel to celebrate a birthday? I remember a beautiful sharing I had with an elderly Holy Spirit sister many years ago when I handled the retreat for them, for the group of elderly sisters of our sister servants of the Holy Spirit. And this sister shared with me something that until now I have memorized and I have kept in my heart. She said, and I quote, When you are in your 20s, you are glamorized. When you are in your 30s, you are idolized. 
When you are in your 40s, you are criticized. When you are in your 50s, you are ostracized. When you are in your 60s, you are hospitalized. When you are in your 70s, you are pulverized. When you are in your 80s, you are beatified. When you are in your 90s, you are already probably canonized. The Bible says, 70 is the sum of our years, or 80 for those who are strong, and most of this are emptiness and pain. And so, O oh God, teach us to number our days aright. But some people are not worried about their birthdays, about age. Although some people do not want to talk about their age, and they will tell you it is a top military secret. But what is age? Someone said, age is just a number. Age is relative. Age is not absolute. What does that statement mean? That age is not absolute. It is relative. It means that you are young as long as you have a relative who is older than you. That is the meaning of the statement. Age is relative. It is not absolute. You are young as long as you have a relative who is older than you. Today, we celebrate a very important birthday. The birthday of John the Baptist. Do you know that the church celebrates only three birthdays in its calendar? The first is the birthday of John the Baptist, June 24. The other is the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary on September 8. The third is the birthday of our Lord on December 25. These are the only birthdays that the church celebrates. The church does not even celebrate my birthday, but it's okay. What does it tell us? That the church celebrates the birthday of John the Baptist. He must be a very important person in the history of salvation that the church honors John the Baptist with two important celebrations. His birthday on June 24 and his death or beheading on, this, on August 29. So there are two feasts that we celebrate in honor of John the Baptist. To underline the fact, to underline the truth that what Jesus said about him is true. The Lord gave him the most beautiful compliment. The Lord gave him the loveliest tribute when our Lord said, Among those born of women, no one is greater than John the Baptist. Among those born of women, no one is greater than John the Baptist. Today is the birthday of John the Baptist. If you will go to our nearby neighbor, San Juan, I do not know if they still celebrate Wata Wata. And I'm sure you know what is Wata. Those who are in the neighborhood, you would know what Wata Wata is. Basaan, binabasa ng tubig. And I remember when I was a, when I was a small boy, growing up in, Mindu, in Mindoro, on this day we would go to the beach and we would go swimming together with the rest of the family. Somebody said that when, ja, when, the, when, when John was born, the day is decreased. When Jesus was born, the day is increased. When John was born, the day is decreased. When Jesus was born, the day is increased. Because John also said, He must increase while I must decrease. John the Baptist was the son of Zechariah, a priest of the temple in Jerusalem, and Elizabeth, a relative of the Blessed Mother who visited her. John the Baptist was probably born at Ein Karem, southwest of Jerusalem, after the angel Gabriel had told Zechariah that his wife would bear a child even though she was an old and barren woman. As I have said, John the Baptist's birthday 
is celebrated six months before Christmas Day. The mother of John was an old and barren woman, while the mother of Jesus was a young virgin. Zechariah was struck dumb for not believing that Elizabeth would still conceive in spite of her age. But the Blessed Mother believed that the angel's message to her would be fulfilled and she conceived Jesus in faith. My dear brothers and sisters, the birth of John the Baptist leads us to recall that nothing is impossible with God. It is true that God could make the impossible possible. John was beheaded at the request of Salome, the daughter of Herodias, who asked for his head at the instigation of her mother. John inspired many of his followers to follow Jesus instead when he told them, There is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Among them, Andrew and John, who came to know about Jesus through the preaching of John. John the Baptist is presented in the New Testament as the last of the Old Testament prophets and the precursor of the Messiah. Indeed, among those born of women, no one is greater than John the Baptist. Amen. John the Baptist was called from the first moment of his life to announce the coming of the light to the nations, the hope of the world. In the joy of this feast, let us make our prayers to God and let us say, O God, be gracious to us. O God, be gracious to us. That the church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the message of salvation to the ends of the earth. We pray, O oh God, be gracious to us, that the leaders of nations may be, may be instruments of truth, justice, and lead their people in the way of peace. We pray, O oh God, be gracious to us, that we may come surely to the end to which our faith leads, the salvation of souls. We pray, O oh God, be gracious to us, that the poor and the suffering may take fresh heart in the promise of Christ's glory. We pray. O oh God, be gracious to us. For our civil leaders and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and to come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank you for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanian spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. O oh God, be gracious to us. That the Lamb may take away the sins of the faithful departed. We pray, O oh God, be gracious to us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our special intentions. We pray, O oh oh God, God, be, be gracious, gracious to, to us. us. Father of time and eternity, you search our hearts. You discern our needs before we ask. Aided by John the Baptist, in your mercy, hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spirit in Christ, hear with this field. You are the wind that breathes through the fields. Gather Source and 
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, upon the offerings made by your people on the solemnity of the birth of John the Baptist and grant that what we celebrate in mystery we may follow with deeds of devoted service through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In His precursor, John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism, and was privileged to bear his supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread gave it to the disciples and said take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Come 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints, especially John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that Jesus, our brother and Lord, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us, our us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress and anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And you said, Lord, to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet each other with a sign of peace. Nothing is impossible with God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, and happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So 
Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these who are Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadamitz, pray for us. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat sa mga nasa ibang bansa. Magandang gabi, magandang hating gabi. Father Louis Punsalan po, SVD, dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary. Ako ay naatasan na patuloy na manawagan para sa mga nagnanais at may kakayahang tumulong sa pagpapaaral ng amin mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary. Mayroon po tayong mga seminarista na walang kakayahan ng finansyal na tustusan ang kanilang pag-aaral sa seminaryo. Kaya kami ay nananawagan, lumalapit at humihingi ng tulong sa mga nais tumulong sa pag-aaral ng ating mga kabataang magpapari at ang ating mga magiging misyonero balang araw. Tatanawin ho naming malaking utang na loob kung matutulungan ninyo, matutulungan natin ang mga kabataang ito dito sa Christ the King. Ipinapakita namin sa inyo ang paraan para kayo ay makipag-ugnayan sa amin. You can write us an email if you have some more questions, if you want to know the house, the procedures, that the, the mechanics uh, that will be involved in helping send a seminarian in his studies. You can email me through ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com Pwede rin po ninyong ipadala ang inyong tulong para sa ating mga seminarista sa pamamagitan ng BDO account namin. Banco de Oro with the following account name and account number. Account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. At ang account number naman ay 
0002201991247. Hindi po sapat ang aming natatanggap. Kailangan pa po namin ng tulong para itutustos natin sa mga kabataang nag-aaral dito sa seminaryo. Meron din ho tayong GCash numbers. Dalawa, alinman sa dalawa na yan ay pwede ninyong gamitin sa pagpapadala ng inyong tulong para sa mga kabataang ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat dun sa mga tumulong na at patuloy pang tutulong at nag-iisip na tumulong. May God bless you more abundantly. Thank you so very much. Let us all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh